Hi everyone. I just finished reading the book The Deepest Well by Nadine Burke Harris. I finished it in three days. It focuses on Average Childhood Experiences Study, ACEs, conducted by Kaiser Permanente in the 1990s. They were investigating the curious lapses of their most successful clients in a weight loss program. The results of the survey revealed an astonishing conclusion far beyond the expectations of the researchers, Drs. Vincent Folletti and Robert Anda. Folletti and Anda surveyed 17,000 participants with 10 questions that asked about various forms of abuse and neglect that, they, that may have occurred before the age of 18. Each question was worth one point. The web address, if you want to take the quiz, if you're interested, is traumadissociation.com ace. The questionnaire asked questions in the following categories, um, emotional abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, physical and emotional neglect, substance abuse in the household, mental illness in the household, um, the mother being treated violently, divorce or se parental separation, and finally criminal behavior in the household. Folletti and Anna discovered that fully 67% of the participants had at least one category of ACE and 12.6% had four or more. They also discovered that there was a dose-response relationship that meant that the higher the score, the higher the person's risk to their health. A person with four or more ACEs was twice as likely to develop heart disease or cancer, and three and a half more likely, times more likely to develop chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, as a person with zero. Moreover, this was not conducted in a poor area. The participants lived in a middle-class area in San Diego and were 70% white and 70% college educated. Some argued that the health outcomes were associated with bad behaviors like smoking and drinking, but that accounted for only 50% of the increased likelihood for disease. The study showed a direct correlation with heart disease and cancer as well. So the question is why? And the short answer is that toxic stress releases stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol in the body, and this in turn disrupts sleep, impacts the immune, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, respiratory, and endocrine systems, as well as, wait for it, make the body crave high sugar, high fat foods. How many bags of chocolate chips have I devoured in the last six months? This is the biological reaction to threat that is intended to only be used when you encounter a bear in the woods. But as Dr. Harris points out, what if you're living with the bear? Dr. Harris ran a pediatric clinic in a poor neighborhood of San Francisco and very effectively used this information to improve the outcomes for her patients. She has made it her mission to make this information available in all aspects of healthcare and education. Her prescription for toxic stress is sleep, exercise, nutrition, mindfulness, mental health, and healthy relationships. We kind of know this already, right? But now there's evidence, and hopefully someday the medical community will add toxic stress to the DSM menu instead of the a la carte symptoms that are currently listed. And Dr. Harris is advocating pre-screening the ACE score at all medical facilities and schools. I've had this book on my shelf for quite a while, and now I'm kicking myself for not reading it sooner. I hope this information is useful to you. If you um, want to uh, get more information from her herself, she has a TED Talks on YouTube that's titled How Childhood Trauma Affects Health Across a Lifetime. So you can go search for that and watch it. It's a really great video. My free online awareness through movement class this week is canceled for Easter and we'll be back the following week. I'll just be leaving my last lesson, relaxing the psoas, on my site for another week. Be well and I hope to see you in a couple of weeks.